There's one more prayer that I would recommend called the Unity Prayer. That is part of the Revelations to Elizabeth Kindleman. Before we head any further into the video, let me just briefly explain what it means by blinding Satan. Through her flame of love, Our Lady promises to blind Satan. In fact, this is the principal purpose of this grace. Elizabeth Kindleman, the secular Carmelite and widowed mother of six through whom Jesus and Mary initiated the flame of love movement, records some experiences of seeing Satan blinded. On one occasion, she commanded him to listen to her, and it was a painful experience for Satan. Even more on another occasion, she saw all the little devils unable to act because they were receiving no orders. Their blinded leader had nothing to say. The Gospels constantly state that Jesus visited many towns, driving out Satan and preaching the kingdom. The two activities are deeply connected. If Satan holds someone in his power, Jesus' words have no effect. It is like showing a movie to a blind man. This blinding of Satan frees souls so they can respond to God's graces. Because the world is filled with evil, people are unable to respond to God's grace. People's thoughts and feelings are blocked by Satan. When he is blinded, he loses his powers and the person experiences a freedom to say yes to God. And there's a prayer called the Unity Prayer that our Lord and Our Lady dictated to Miss Elizabeth that's been approved by Cardinal Erdo and the hierarchy that's exquisitely and wondrously beautiful. And the prayer goes something like this. My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. Father James Blunt even shared his experience saying the prayer when he was in Georgia. There were a couple of ladies who seemed to be possessed by demons during Mass and began screaming and manifesting. Father Blunt and his team then circled the ladies and they said the unity prayer, who by then were so out of control, screaming and spitting and foaming at the mount. It happened in the time of the apostles and it happens today. Amen? Amen. In fact, it'll probably start happening even more in the months and years to come. So I had them circle around her. I mean, it's easier than calling the bishop for an exorcism, you know what I mean? I don't need to call the bishop to say that prayer. Anyone can say that prayer. You get, you get my drift? It was easier. So I had them gather around her and we prayed, and as you might know the story, screaming and foaming and spitting and speaking in an unknown language. As we said that prayer, my adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together, may our hands gather in unity. Isn't that beautiful, that prayer? Our souls be in harmony, our hearts beat in unison, our glances profoundly, all of that. As we said that, the woman with invisible hands came under control. And of course, not to go into too much detail, but from screaming and spitting and foaming in 60 seconds, and she knelt in total silence, and a certain pious reverence, a pious reverence, bowed her head to me to receive a priestly blessing. It was stunning and beautiful to see. If you like this video, please do share the message on your Facebook and Twitter.